Hello MechWarriors, how is it going? Welcome to your daily dose of MechWarrior Online. Today we are playing the Marauder because I like Marauders and I haven't played one in a while and since I, when I played them, I mostly played ballistic variants. Um, today we're gonna go for a missile variant and uh, Marauder 5D has a very very nice feature which is uh, jump jets. So that thing can pop hard MRMs and that's what we are doing today. We have a nice mid-range loadout with 60 MRMs, like two MRM-30 launches, and we have five medium lasers as our backup weapon. So our alpha strike is 85. That's really good. That's actually pretty, pretty amazing. Uh, we got enough heat sinks to keep the mech rather cold and we are running four and a half tons of ammo for the MRMs and of course again the two jump jets which uh, really help getting into position which really help uh, being able to quickly jump up and then shoot the MRMs fall back to safety and on top of it the Marauder here um, it has a lot of structure so it is a very tanky mech in general it's super sturdy it has uh, base structure quirks of uh, plus 12 in the center and uh, left torso plus 8 and if you amplify that with skills uh, you have a very again very sturdy mech which has also a very very, very nice uh, silhouette if you look uh, at it from the front uh, and if you torso twist then you see the torso is completely completely shielded by by the center so you can splash the damage like crazy on this mech and uh, you will see that especially in the first game that it can survive for a long long time anyway uh, let's go ahead and take a quick look at the skills here we have um, invested a lot into firepower I wanted to max out the, the missile nodes I didn't go for the laser duration so much uh, just because I wanted uh, more more heat and more cool down here. So therefore uh, skipping this and I'm going for structure as I said before So we go down the the right side of the survivability tree because you just get more raw HP out of um, of a you know structure because it is uh, overall a higher number that you amplify with relative numbers that's it, therefore, skeletal density. Skip mobility here, I am going for full operations to keep the mech cold. I have uh, radar deprivation since we are a pop tart, so uh, being able to break locks quickly uh, when we fall down to cover is uh, very nice to have. And I'm going for double cool shots here, because again, you know, the build is okay in heat man in terms of heat management, 1.21, but sometimes I just want to keep pushing and keep uh, shooting my weapons, and therefore, that double cool shot here. That's the build, everybody. I wish you all a lot of fun in the two games that are coming. And if you have that, then don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And now it's time to hit the battlefield. All right, first game of the day. We are playing the Mining Collective. We are playing uh, Assault here. Assault is usually, or sometimes, often, let's say often, let's say often, a base race. So uh, enemies are coming to Delta 4 and pushing the base pretty hard, mostly. And... Um, I don't know what my assault mechs are up to, if they are going down the Delta 4 path, if they are engaging directly, or if they want to go to Echo 4 and uh, help taking the top and such. The top is not that important here, not that much, um, since, again, uh, people use, usually just push Delta 4 and then they pressure the base just to get some uh, something done here and, and, and distract the enemy, but it seems that my assault mechs are coming over this way. So we have a Sun Spider with us, which is good, I like that, we got some, some nice firepower from this guy and we can take the top here so shall we do it probably delta 5 thank you so we don't have that much cover here but the sun spider brings our auto cannons hey dude i see you <laughs> there's a hunchback we have a hunchback camping in delta 4 high ground uh shall we take mm -hmm. the top let's do it together then okay so we, we can poke him but he is running large pulse which is actually pretty scary he's gonna peek again no, he's not. Interesting. I tried to anticipate his movement, but he actually left. Now, now that he's there again. And as you can see, jump jets are super handy in this build here. I love it. Got light mech over there. 700 meters. It's not good. So guys, let's take the top together. It's no problem. Uh, strike coming in. Yeah, I saw that too, too late. And we're gonna shoot the battle master. Let's go. So, shooting with the right side is important here. Okay, that's not good. Ooh, too much, too much, too much. Just pop up a UAV. And uh, I want to see if there's something coming from Delta 4. If they are pushing us into Echo 4. And I already got a lot of damage from the enemy poking here. That's not so good. That's uh, Key Fox down there. Which means that they are actually super split. So, it's good. This is really good. We have a big advantage in terms of positioning here. Um, we have one mech down though. Yeah, the Sun Spider went in too, too early there. Okay, 
Uh, let, let, me, let me go ahead and try to kill the mauler here. Ah, uh, this guy needs to get down up, but I'm blocked. Okay, so we have the high ground here, which is super good. Okay, we got that. He is open. Oh wait, there's the hunchback. The hunchback is open. Let's peek again here. He is open as well, so we, we're gonna go for the kill here. Absolutely. Okay, got this. Ooh, I don't want to fall, I don't want to fall, no! Actually, it's okay that I fell. It's okay. So, the thing is, we can get up again. If we, if we, if we... Oh god. Do it right. We did not. Alright, now we need to defend ourselves against an Atlas here. Instant cool shot. I want to get rid of the AC-20. Come on, AC-20 down. Okay, that's really good. But, <clears throat> he's using flamers on us. Interesting. Nice Atlas there, dude. I shouldn't have shot. I shouldn't have shot. I shouldn't have shot. Uh oh. Can you kill the Atlas, please? Thank you. So, 30% heat uh, if I shoot my, my missiles here. I cannot do anything. He's completely shutting me down right now. The only thing I can try is to absorb the damage. Or try to get out of his way, maybe. Get wrecked. Thank you. Thank you so much. Alright. Holy crap. These guys want me dead. But I'm not giving up yet. Not yet, guys. I want to make him work for their, for their, uh, for their game here. For the kill. I have no idea how I'm still alive. Seriously. Seriously, it's a heavy gauss. Very dangerous. And I'm kind of alone. I have one assault mech with me. Let's go for the pop tart. Where did he go? This is the cool thing. We still have our jump jets. And I believe now it's time to actually regroup. And I'm dead. Am I? Yeah. Still have some medium lasers. We have a heavy, heavy Gauss Marauder here. Holy shit. What a fight. What a fight. Okay, so sometimes you gotta play the tank. <laughs> and sometimes you're getting you're getting shred to pieces by an Atlas and uh, keep keep kept locked down by flamers there. Oh wow. That was the face hugging Atlas. G getting in with an AC20 with uh, three SRM6s and Artemis and flamers. Nice one. We got, um, I believe. Oh, there's a linebacker in the back. Nice one. Um, now it's not anymore. The Marauder is down, I believe. Let's see what's this. Oh, there is the Marauder. Okay, let's switch to the switch to another target. Yeah, this is it. This is the fight I want to see here. Phoenix Hawk against Marauder. ERPC against Heavy Gauss Rifle. I don't think that the Phoenix Hawk can survive this. He's probably running an XL engine. Um, I would do that in this build. So if he if he gets shot once more to the right side torso with the Heavy Gauss Rifle, he's gonna die, most likely. Let's see if he can survive it or not. Marauder? Mm, okay, 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 okay. I wonder, I wonder how the Gauss Rifle is still intact. There we go. Nice round! I like that! That was a hell of a brawl! And here you can see, here you can see the strength of the Marauder. It can tank so much damage. So, don't be afraid to go to the front line with the Marauder, because it is a freaking tank. Anyway, we got uh, zero killing blows, sadly, but we got uh, two killmost damage dealt. We have 10 assists and 776 damage while we were trying to survive here. That was the first round. Let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down. Alright, second game of the day. We are playing the Alpine Peaks and we are playing Skirmish and there is artillery and PPC fire coming from the other side of the map. That's not good, but we managed to actually dodge it mostly. So what we do here is we're gonna go for Lima 8 or Kilo 8 and then either way around. So either right side or left side. So it's just still... Oh, wow. Those guys are super aggressive with the artillery here. Alright. I mean, it makes absolute sense, like the light max over there, or the, the, the long range dudes. They, they're just laying into us while we are trying to get to the front line. But we have a lone assault max, so it seems, in Lima 8. Uh, let's see if we can get him. I mean, seriously. Is he alone? Is the King Crab alone? Yeah, let's just kick him. Let's go. Oh my god. So poor King Crab. Holy, holy crap. I mean, holy King Crab. Why? How? L guys, let's keep pushing. Let's keep pushing. We have the momentum right now. Let's keep it up. Um, we have a big advantage by taking out the King Crab, of course, so we, we should make use of this right now. We have everybody in place. So, staying here now and doing nothing uh, would uh, completely, again, yeah, destroy our momentum. 
that's uh, the thing. Just if you have the advantage, keep pushing. Use the snowball effect. We are more than them. We have more firepower, more overall heat threshold, more everything. So we, we gotta make use of this right now. Important thing, don't stop here. Don't stop there because... Uh, Fafnir, okay. Let's go for the Fafnir first. Fafnir. Big one. The one that is not being targetable. But it's easy to hit. Okay, straight shot to my leg. It's okay though. Hey, Irby, get out there. Run. Go away. Go. Just go away. No, we got we got our jump jets, which bring us bring us up here, and we definitely have to support our Atlas there. Can you kill the Nigh here, please? Guys, keep it up. Not good. Not good. Ooh, Fafnir, one shot. Yes. All right, guys, keep moving. Press W. We have them where we want them to. Uh, Papa is looking great now. We're gonna shoot him so make him uh, uncomfortable and try to force him to move. Speaking of it, my team uh, moved a little bit too slow. Come on, guys, don't be afraid. We have the power. We have the the numbers right now. All right, let's uh, go for Irby. Okay, Irby's down. Guys, keep pushing forward. W W W. Okay, enemies behind us. That's it. That that's what I don't want. We have two enemies behind us in Lima 8. It is a Sun Spider and something else, but I want that guy in Kilo 10 down before we do that. The Hunchback. It's a Hellbringer. It's a Hellbringer? Okay. So, 7 and 2. This is it! It was a little bit, a little bit slow in our push there. And we're getting shot from the guys in the back now. Yeah, that's exactly it. Oh, it's a Supernova. Not good. Okay, guys, now we need to turn around. I don't know if I can make it, actually. Seriously, I am so damaged right now. They made me their priority target because I wanted to be here to, to react to them. And my team completely, completely moved up. And as a result, I was the one, of course, that was uh, exposing himself. Okay, Kodiak is going in. It's nice because he, he's a big threat to the enemy, or he should be. Completely missed my missiles here. So let's try to go for another shot. There's the Hellbringer. We hit this time. And my team is moving in now. So now is the time where I can move with them uh, relatively safely. Relatively safely. I mean, we have the advantage right now. We have eight kills. They got three. They still have an urban mech up there. Uh, up there on the hill. So after we dealt with those guys, we, we have to turn around again. Don't be afraid of missiles. Just push them. Just push them. Okay, we got this. Nice. Even got the kill here. Nice. Another kill. Okay, the last one is Supernova with LRMs. India. We just push him and he's down. And then there's an Urban Mech in our back somewhere. So, I believe he was running Rax or something. There he is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wait. He's using single shot auto cannons. I'm not going to push the. Oh, he's actually using an AC20? Okay. Uh, well, you go ahead and kill the supernova. I'm gonna deal with that urban wreck. <laughs> okay, okay. So let's try to find ourselves an urban mech. We have still some armor on the on the right side of our mech, so we're gonna shield with this. Oh, there he is. Shoot me. Thank you. Let's get rid of the AC. Ow! Stop that. His arm. All right, he's not a threat anymore. <laughs> hey, dude. How are you doing, man? How are you doing? <laughs> nice one, Irby. <laughs> nice one. He was... <laughs> you don't do damage when you are so up high there. You're too far far out. You you don't have the range. <laughs> so, anyway. It was a fun round here. It was, was a nice push. Like the King Crab kill early on. That was what won us the game, honestly. And then afterwards, the momentum. Just keep pressing the attack and you will win the game. Anyway, we had four killing blows, seven assists, two kill most damage dealt, and 680 damage here. That was the Marauder with MRMs and medium lasers. I like the build a lot. And if you liked the video, then don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you want to support me, then go down below to the description. There is the link to my Patreon page. And I hope to see you on the battlefield, everybody. Goodbye.